What is going on? I'm Zed Mott. I have clicked past this screen so many times that it finally came up. I figured I'd leave it here in case you guys missed it too. Ho, ho, ho. I have stuff for sale so cheap they are practically presents. But not really. You still have to pay for them. Uh, the trader is here and she has flashy Jingle Bells. I made a gif of that. Do you say jif or gif, by the way? Uh, do let me know in the comments if you say jif with a j instead of a g. Um, I know that's a bit of an internet debate. Uh, there is some stuff for sale here. Some of it's actually decently priced. A lot of it, not so much. And also, some of you with eagle eyes noticed that that reroll went from 20 diamonds up to 30 diamonds. And also noticed over up, might as well do some drawings. These, this is the new price. Also note that the um, availability has changed so that it's active until the new year. Interesting, interesting tidbits. Anyways, we are going to do an operation attack to get started. Then we're going to give away some prizes because who doesn't like prizes? Jumping on in assembly is one of my favorite operation attacks. You can farm a ton of free GBE on the right hand side. You can do this unboosted. As you can see by my GBE count, I am clearly not unboosted, but uh, we're doing this for the lols. Uh, you can farm GBE, you shock bullet, it's a long walk. It has every single aspect of a good operation. So that is the reason I like it. One of my favorites. It also comes across as super impressive because it has all of those features. We need to get some smokes out. Hey, I've forgotten a number of important details, but we should still be able to get this puppy down as we throw some artilleries out there, flaring bullet back there. Now, I like to do a, fl a flare, a smoke, 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 and then throw in that next shock out right about there. Bullet is closer to my Zookas than I would have liked. Zookas also closer to that flamethrower than I would have liked. Still should be able to pull this off. I do think though that shock in that back corner, not ideal under any circumstances. We also are likely, very likely going to have to re-shock that shock, I mean that rocket launcher at the back, but bullets gonna stand in, Zooka's doing all of the good things, taunting all of the main defenses, shocking bullet, clearing a free snipe, and any time you can do a free snipe on, a, on any operation base makes me very, very, very happy. Old timey, when Zookas were first figured out, it was all free snipes all of the time. And so this kind of gives me all of the things. Farming GBE, shocking bullet, long walks, and a free snipe. Assembly, one of, if not the best, operation attacks. Okay, prizes, prizes, prizes. In my video last week, we promised many, many, many good things. And of course, those prizes are, number one, the Critter Plushie with two pairs of socks. I love the socks, by the way. And some pins. I wear those socks many, many days. I've got a bunch of different pairs of them, whether they be from Heyday or Boom Beach or Clash of Clans. Lots of socks on my side. The other prize are two t-shirts, actually three, three t-shirts. Only have two, but only have two pictures. We got three t-shirts. Don't worry. There's going to be no fighting. Now these shirts were given out to the best nicknames for Boom Beach troops or buildings or whatever the heck you may have you and the backup winners. So without further ado, drum roll, please, my friends. Christmas giveaway number one plushy winner is Mad Man Hell, saying he's subbed for years and always used code Zedmont. Thank you very much for that, Hell. Gotta love grapplers. Yes, I've been known to call grapplers grapplers and the crystal clitters. There is a bit of a mouth problem with the crystal critters. Sometimes they get known as crystal clitters. Anyways, moving forward to t-shirt number one winner is Leela P. Fund. The nickname my brother and I use for Dr. Kavan is the mustache man because he has a weird mustache. I uh, can't show you his photo because 
as you can see in the background there, this account does not have Kavan, so we'll have to trust you on that one. Charles Widener. Almost called you Charles Wiener. Uh, so, again, speaking of problems with the mouth, t-shirt number two winner, Charles Widener. Grens are drunken foot sloggers. I've never heard that one, uh, but I do like it. And then on to the backup of the backups. My prizes, I have been giving a backup winner. There has been no backups needed, so we went back to the backups and Chris Barker from a video days and days and weeks ago picking up t-shirt number three. So congrats to all the winners. Now, how you claim is you jump onto my Discord. And those of you out there, do pay attention to this link. Make a note of this timestamp. You're going to want to get this link. I'll explain more later on. Let's get in. We'll do one more operation attack. This is on my low level account. This is an HQ-17. The clouds are in a sp very specific manner because as you can see, this account has never ever in the history of the account been raided. It is this very specific type of account. If you have questions, do hit me up. It is a great way to play Boom Beach. Very different way to play Boom Beach though. We are going to attack Mash Machina, Machina, whatever the heck you want to call it. We're going to send our troops into about there. Why I only have four boats of boats, four boats of troops, don't bother asking. There's no advantage to doing this. This is just completely and utterly me being stupid and silly, but... That is another matter. We are going to flare onto there. We're going to hit our battle orders button. And then we're going to throw out three shocks here in the next second or two. All of our troops absolutely destroyed by that flamethrower hitting our faces. Uh, we managed to get rid of the laser. Not doing a ton of good stuff for our troops. But um, Machina, if you're familiar with that layout... It's all about the single shock with bullet and that laser might have been problematic, but maybe it wasn't. Notice that we've got 25 attacks left for three bases as Logan finishes off Humble Pie. So at least 12 and a half attacks for the rest of the bases. This is Kindergarten 9, the most popular of our many task forces. Uh, you should join it. It is a great, great task force, but... Because it's always full, you need to get on our Discord. That way I can give someone the boot just to get you on in. Next up on our list of all the things for Christmas, we are going to do a Seeker hit. As you can see by my rank, I have been up and down more than I care to admit, more than Santa in his sleigh on Christmas. Uh, we are going to do a Seeker hit. It is probably going to go terribly, but that is not the point of any of this. That grappler is going to do us a huge favor. That is going to put bullet right about there, which is going to deal with this stuff and this stuff. And then we can send our seekers out to here and around the side. And it's going to be magical or it's going to be terrible somewhere in between. We'll just have to wait and see which one it is. Just want to check to see where that grappler is going to range. Can get that engine room and that engine room down. Then we'll send Bullet out. It's going to be magical. Maybe, just maybe. I have no idea. Uh, we're going to send two boats over there, two boats, three boats over here. And then we're just going to hang out for a little bit as we get these shocks out. Then we're going to send Bullet back, flare on that, and then just hope for the absolute, absolute best didn't get bullet in position in time, which means we're already under the gun. Shocking all of the things. Bullet needs to get back here. Need to get rid of some of these things as we smoke the rest of our seekers back, back, back there. Bullet finally doing what bullet was supposed to be doing all along. Taunting all of the things, getting the shocks out. And then onto that final engine room with all of the barrage. Don't use a grappler. It's a bad, bad idea, especially when you're facing seeker players. So 
I did not do things as I hoped. I dropped bullet way too late, and we still ended up with a three minute, five second time against Goo Monster. GG Goo Monster. Uh, Goo Monster using heavy Zooka, heavy Choppa with Zookas and Laser Rangers. Uh, dead Kavan. Love to see Kavan lying in a pile of goo. Monster. We shall move away from this account, getting back in as Siri tries to activate. Let's get going. We are going to use all laser rangers, burn through imitation game. Then I'll tell you my next prize giveaways. Uh, there's lots to come, my friends. So do get your laser rangers rocking and rolling. I know cryoneers are on sale and we probably should try to use all cryoneers to do this puppy. I'm just getting beeped like crazy. I'm going to pause here in a second. Uh, lots and lots of beeps. I assume my wife wants some coffee at school. By the way, I have mentioned this, but it's been a li it's been a minute. If your kids are in school, there I know that people give Christmas presents to teachers, and um, you give your that mug that every teacher has twelve of, and all the rest of it. But if for some reason you want to say thank you to your teacher, and I assume that everyone has amazing teachers out there. I know there are some exceptions to the rule, but please, please, please consider figuring out what kind of coffee your teacher likes and delivering it on a random day, unannounced. Uh, you, before 11 a.m., preferably, I would guess, uh, I have never had such... Gr I've done a lot of nice things in my life, I feel like, but the reaction from a teacher for a simple coffee, and, like, a coffee is what? Like, if you bring them an expense... If they have an expensive coffee order, it's five bucks, maybe... I have never had the reaction I've gotten from teachers. They are over the moon happy. And I get the benefit that my wife is a teacher, so I get to bring my wife a coffee and get the brownie points from that. Then I get the brownie points from my kid's teacher. Uh, and it's not about the brownie points with the kid's teacher. It's just how incredibly, incredibly happy they are, especially this time of year. Kids the at the end of of school at the end of December, at the end of June, are just an absolute gong show. So thank you to all the teachers out there. I should probably should do a giveaway just for teachers. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys or gals in the comments are teachers, but thank you very much. And I know there are other jobs that are equally stressful and equally thankless and equally underpaid, but uh, teachers this time of year have all sorts of my uh, good graces or whatever the heck my mouth is trying to say. So do, and if you, there's other, obviously if you're going to visit a, someone in the hospital or you're going, all of those types of people, take them a coffee this time of year. Um, I know that I also pushed the idea of donating blood. It's, this is that, time of year. Please let me know if you can think of other ways that uh, we can give back to the people that do all of the best things for us or the vulnerable or whatever it may be. Uh, trying to do my best on my side, also trying to get my kids involved so that they, whether it be soup kitchens or Take writing handwritten thank you letters for their prizes, for their aunts, for their presents, for their aunts and uncles, and or just making a phone call. Um, those little things mean so much this time of year, and I know I don't do enough, but I'm trying. And so please do hit me up in the comments if you have suggestions or ideas or things that you do that give you that happy, happy glow, because you definitely do get a sense of happiness and no, you don't have to post it on Instagram or, but maybe that gives you the sense of happiness too, because it gets other people doing it too. Not saying you post it for your own, to give yourself a pat on the back, but there's definitely part of that involved as well. So whatever makes you happy, more important is that you're giving and doing and all the rest. Uh, we're going to get this down Stage seven, we're going to use all cryoneers because why the heck not? They're on 90% off. Would love it if they were to do a troop mania where you got 
90% off the actual upgrade costs in your armory. Not that my armory's not maxed, but if you do jump into your boats, you'll notice that the Cryoneer is the most Christmas Northern Hemisphere of the troops. 90% off. We are going to take down stage seven. Then I'm going to tell you about some giveaways. There are going to be a bunch of them. I was going to do the 12 giveaways of Zedmot, but I'm not sure that I have 12 giveaways to do because uh, doing four in this video alone has depleted my stocks. Supercell is in the process of changing warehouses. Uh, there's been some issues, so they have shut down prizes. Thankfully, I ordered a metric shipload before they turned off the bigot. So that is why I have all of the prizes and I have been giving out all of the stuff. Um, some of some people out there keep these prizes for themselves. I would rather give it to you guys. And so that is why I have given you all of the goodness. We're gonna do all of this into here. Chances of us doing anything useful with these ladies is about zero. Let's be honest, these ladies have next to no damage. I shocked a tiny, tiny bit early. It is Christmas all over this base, even though they don't have an ice base for whatever reason. Not in, I thought every base had an ice base this time of season. Anyways, we have done next to zero damage. If we would have used all our GBE on that core, we would have had better success because you likely can Bart out every single core right now as a max level player, but all of that aside, we are at least softening this base up a tiny, tiny bit. If we can get one more artillery, we'll have taken out two rocket launchers, which hooray, look at like, we can't even take down a residence right now. No damage at all from these ladies. That is, that's not really their job though. They are a fantastic support troop, but we are going to try to take down stage seven using nothing but Cryoneers, and there's going to be a little bit of an asterisk, asterisk after that one on this instance because we are going to bring Kavon, we are going to second wind some rifle dudes, and maybe, just maybe, that is going to give us enough power to take this puppy down. Why I'm going to the right when there is a Simo over there, not entirely sure, would have been better to go left, most definitely but we are gonna drop Kavon over to there. Then we're gonna drop all of the rest of the ladies trying to get all of our troops over here. We now have a little teeny tiny bit of damage because Kavon did bring us some rifles. That is our only hope. We have beaten Imitation Game using nothing but medics. We have used all medics, taken it down. This person does have some boosted blues, but we've got a little bit of damage thanks to Kavon and his rifles. If it's going to be enough or not, I really, really, really have no clue whatsoever. Hoping that we can get a shock out very soon because that rocket launcher is doing all sorts of damage. Our cryoneers are freezing all of the things. Probably should throw some critters back on that Machine gun back there, trying to distract that doom cannon on that left-hand side. Troops getting in and amongst the engine room onto that final, final headquarters. It's going to be very, very tight to finish this thing off, though. Kind of doubt we'll be able to do so. Not seeing many riflemen amongst our frozen ladies. There's got to be a better term for cryoneers. I mean... I don't know what you guys call them, ice babes or frozen ladies or I don't know. There's speaking of nicknames, please throw me your best cryoneer nickname. We have taken down stage seven using nothing but cryoneers. Asterisk involved. That's one of those records that uh, if you look a little bit closely, we dropped only cryoneers. Our landing crafts had only cryoneers. We got a crystal. Of course, it was a red crystal just in time for Christmas. Um, now, as far as prizes go, on my Discord, there is a very, very easy way to give out prizes. And if you join my Discord very, very soon, uh, within the next 
30 minutes or so, there is a Santa Stew Brawl Stars giveaway going on. All you do is click that ta-da emoji and you're entered. It automatically doles out the prizes. There's no back room trickery. There's, it's all transparent. There's, and by the way, I stress this every single time I do a video on giveaways, but uh, every single one of my giveaways has been claimed and I think they've all been delivered. If not, they will be very, very soon. I do authenticate every single winner. So even when some clown joins my Discord and tries to steal your prize, they're not gonna be able to do so. Um, I, yeah, I just, I, I, the fact that I'm getting a little bit of grief for giving out prizes blows my mind. I got fully lectured about how I'm trying to force people to join my Discord or something ridiculous like that. Um, quick note, in order to claim your prize, you need to join my Discord. The link is up the top. If you want to claim and then leave, you are more than welcome to. You don't have to be on my Discord. You don't have to be subscribed to the channel. You don't have to use code ZMOT. Uh, there are no requirements except for showing up, getting your prize, and then bailing. Like, that's it. That is all. Nothing else involved. I don't know who hurt you, but uh, it wasn't me. I'm just trying to give a little bit of holiday cheer, a little bit of goodness out there, spreading the Boom Beach love, also some Brawl Stars goodness. This is my last hit for Warships this season, probably. As you can see, up and down, up and down, winning, losing, uh, losing against legendary players, winning against 24s. Uh, Little Yam, I want to show you Little Yam's attack, by the way. Every time I face Little Yam's, I think I'm like 50%-ish against them. Check this out. Little Yams using Heavy Choppa with Zookas. No one else I have faced all season long this late in the season is using Heavy Choppas with Zookas. It definitely has piqued my interest. I'm a little bit intrigued in doing it and just walking through my base. Like, there are, is not a lot happening here. Just a little bit late of drop on that right hand side, keeping some shocks going, and then walking through all of the things. I have all, literally all of the things, and Little Yams just absolutely embarrassed my base, walked through it. This is the fastest time I've seen against my base in a couple days, two minutes, one second. Uh, everyone else getting like 153, 148, uh, so Lil Yams, if you're out there, well done to the sweetest of the potatoes. Um, this is my tech tree. Um, we've got our boost on Rifleman. I am almost certain that Lil Yams has changed to that Zooka boost. You'd be crazy not to. Uh, although Kavan was bringing back some Rifleman, so maybe curious to see. Can't see that in the replays, unfortunately. I have all of the defenses. Um, I have all of the troop health. As of now, that was my last upgrade to be done, getting that 200% troop health, and that 200% troop health is required if you want to run Laser Rangers or Zookas, I do assume. I also have all of the GBE, as you can see by the stats, 100% GBE, 250% troop damage. We have all of the things. This is the final form of warships. The only thing I don't have is those laser rangers. I was waiting to get all of the GBE and the troop health first. Um, I am probably gonna lose this battle. Seekers, we got a little bit lucky. Uh, definitely, definitely sped through that base. This, if I can get, Above 145, I'm going to call a win. Um, I generally can get above 145, but I have not attacked on this base in about 24 hours. I can't remember. We'll have to check the timestamps to see when the last attacks were. I'm going to guess it's been at least 16 hours. It's also going to take about an hour to get a match. As people park, as people are putting their accounts on mothballs for season 54... I, ooh, there we go. I am going to start at the very worst in rank 14 next season. So, ooh, I have not seen this base before. This is a new base. I like new bases. Uh, engine rooms towards the back. 
Can I sneak someone along that back wall? I think they're probably not going to be able to do that, but uh, we shall give it a try. That laser beam is going to be a pain in the butt. Shock launcher, also a pain. They've got all of the same boosts as us, except for we've got a little bit more troop health and a little bit more GBE. I don't even know where we should be going here. Where does that Doom Cannon range? It does, in fact, range across that gap. That's going to be a bit of a pain, but where do we go? Let's see where that laser ranges as well. Should be able to sneak. Oh, there we go. Need to get a move on. Going to send you over there. One, two, and then you over there. One and two. And then you over there. And then as that flare is active, we're going to send you over there. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I feel like I'm probably not being cautious enough that I probably should send Kavon in about this neighborhood. Our, that Doom Cannon at the back doing a bunch of damage. That Shock Launcher at the front doing a bunch of damage. Uh, where did that... Those guys clearing at the back. That has potential... I'm also going to throw some critters in the middle of that rocket launcher area, just trying to sneak a bunch of stuff along. Let's send a smoke on those guys, trying to keep them alive, trying to be somewhat a little bit sneaky. I don't have a med kit, unfortunately, so I'm going to try to throw a smoke on them for a second. Uh, should I throw a shock back? Yes, I'm going to throw a shock back there. Let's just try to clear a little bit from the backside. Throw in some critters on that doom cannon. Um, these guys at the back are like my ace in the hole and my ace in the hole just got dead. So definitely not ideal there under any circumstances, but still making decent progress here. Uh, we have cleared through the bulk of this base fairly quickly, just need to get our troops on the move. Um, there are a bunch of shock mines, there are a bunch of troops. I am going to flare all the way back here. The reason for that is that our troops will then be somewhat in position. Those critters should, in theory, protect our troops, and then we're going to have bombardiers hitting this engine room and then some of our bombardiers are going to be back in here as we throw all of our barrage, all of our artillery. I told you 145, we are going to be at 1 minute and 40, come on, 46, 45, right on the nose. When did we attack? When did they attack? Osama has been in legendary a bunch bunch. We lost... We lost in a big, 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 sad, unfortunate, can't find. Maybe just maybe I should have flared onto the engine room and then back onto the engine room. Or I should have thrown critters back there. Regardless, we lost. It was not ideal. Brand new base that I haven't seen before. We'll go back and have a look at my replays. Uh, maybe those, that bombardier on that right-hand side was less than ideal. Maybe I could have dropped Kavon back there and had him walk along that back wall. I don't know. Lots of different options. New bases appearing every single day. But uh, that is going to be it. We did a quick... Operation attack that I was very happy with. I don't think I have an operation attack here, do I? Oh, we do. We got one more to finish off. Where do we go? Ah, uh, Javanese already been hit. Shucks. Conifold already been hit. Shucks. Let's see if we can do duality. Yes, yes, indeed. Laser Rangers. This, by the way, is join at own risk. This task force has a 50-member task force doing low-level operations, low-level being dead end. We are going to jump in with all Laser Rangers and one boat of riflemen. You know what? Let's throw one boat of cryoneers in there, too, just for something fun to do. Then we are going to send Everspark all the way to the back. We're going to drop her about there. You'll see my plan in a second or two. Need to keep her alive. Lots of boom mines on either side, but we should be good. Just 
need to keep her alive and to keep the delay. If you don't know what the delay is, shame on you or shame on me for not telling you. Uh, we're going to flare onto that. Then Everspark is going to do the famous double hack. No need for critters, no need for a uh, med kit, just double hacking all of the things. Both of those rocket launchers down. And then we can throw bunches and bunches and bunches of GBE onto this front rocket launcher. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't have as much GBE as I thought we would for whatever reason. Now we just need to get our troops over into there, far from that rocket launcher, throwing all of our GBE towards the rocket launcher, hoping that we can get it down using only GBE. It's going to be very, very tight. Laser Rangers, it's amazing just how much GBE you get when you're using Laser Rangers. Because of their long, long beams, we now have all of the stuff down. And this is where those riflemen are going to come in handy. They are going to stand out front, get shot in the face. That is their primary, primary, primary job. We're going to move away from those machine guns because we can't deal with machine guns terribly well. And then farming all of the gunboat energy yet again as our critters get out front, as our um, riflemen get out front. Slow shooting single shot defenses. That is a lot of S words. Um, doesn't look like this is going to happen though. Does not look like we're going to get enough GBE for that next shock anytime soon, which means that shock blaster is going to start melting our faces. And now we just need to move towards the right. Not going to get the solo. I am getting the sad trom bone ready. It clearly it's not actually a sad trombone because we had a fun attack. We managed to get rid of most of the defenses and all of the ranged stuff. Easy, easy finish for someone giving someone in our task force a gift of an easy core finish. And it always looks good when you blow up the core. So, um, accidentally on purpose, giving someone in our task force an easy finish, not quite a BJ, not giving them a, a Bart job, but look how many gosh darn crystals we've got trying to keep up with that sculptor. Santa, all I want for Christmas is an automatic sculptor. That is going to be it for me though. As always, please consider throwing creator code ZMOT in your shop of every single Supercell game. Like, share, subscribe, take someone a coffee, say thank you to someone, give them a smile, whatever the heck it might be. I'm ZMOT. Happy holidays. I am not going to be online much on YouTube over the next little while, but I will be on Discord. I will be around on Twitter. Um, just the uploading going to be taking a back seat as I get the eggnog adult beverages flowing and just spend a little bit more time with family and friends and I got two Christmas dinners to cook all on my own. One for my in-laws and one for my parents. So wish me luck. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. I'm Zedmot. Thanks for coming in. Peace.